Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Jeremy Thompson. Good evening and thank you for joining us. A 47 year old man from BC is facing charges after being caught driving dangerously Thursday evening in the St. Paul region. RCMP there received a call of an erratic driver on Highway 28 near Ashmont around 8 o'clock. An officer attempted a traffic stop, but the vehicle blew right past him, swerving out of its lane. Bonneville RCMP created roadblocks and cleared highway traffic. Now, after police successfully disabled the vehicle, it came to a stop on 50th Ave in the town of Bonneville. Philip Robert Crosby surrendered to police without incident and faces charges including dangerous driving and operating a vehicle while pursued by police. Crosby was wanted on eight additional charges out of Saskatchewan. He is scheduled to appear in St. Paul Provincial Court on November 26th. Now, police agencies across the country are collaborating on a national campaign this Thanksgiving weekend aimed at promoting safe driving. The initiative is called Operation Impact and has many jumping on board as distracted driving has become a rising issue. Chris Chacon reports. Distracted driving can come about in many forms, whether you're texting, on a call or even drunk behind the wheel. No matter what the distraction is, they all can have a similar result. Distracted driving kills. It is extremely important to always pay attention to the road. A lot of people may think that it won't happen to them or they might get minor injuries. You never know how serious a collision will be. This is a big problem in our community as we have lost um, students in our school. In Lloydminster alone over the last five years, there have been three deaths and over 500 vehicle collisions, all resulting in injuries. Project Impact happens right now from today on to October the 12th. It's how we're encouraging the community to always practice safe driving habits, to use seatbelts, to always watch the road, to make sure that you're not drinking and driving. As common as drinking and driving is throughout the holidays, there's another distraction on the rise that is already making its mark on roadways across North America. One of the biggest problems right now is texting and driving. So amongst our young people especially who use their cell phones as this lifeline, we need to promote the fact that texting and driving is very, very dangerous. Driving while texting is extremely dangerous because you're not paying attention to the road. You don't see the obstacles or the potential dangers ahead of you. A local high school group called Students Against Destructive Decisions is also working to spread the word. I think our main goal is just to raise awareness to the other students and the other people in the world and just if we can help impact at least one person, I think that is going to be a goal reached for us. Now there is government legislation to help prevent this issue. If you are caught distracted driving, the penalties are a $172 fine on the Alberta side with zero demerits. Now it does go higher on Saskatchewan side with a $280 fine and four demerits. As we go into the long weekend, police are urging the public to remember to always wear your seatbelt and to not drink and drive. Well, as for texting, well, the message can wait. For Newcap News, I'm Chris Chacon.